guys welcome to my channel where we'll be discussing family faith hope and love i'm so glad that you joined me let's be fed daily bread are you hungry that this message find you doing well this is my digital journey and I have been led by the Holy Spirit to drop you golden nuggets each and every day today is day 116 episode 116 if this is your very first time tuning in please go ahead and subscribe to my channel share it with your family and friends to my family and friends hello 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 love you guys so much i am so happy that you have decided to join me on this digital journey today i will be talking to you about what i read in luke chapter 17. yes i have started a series um reading luke and um it's going to take me all the way up up until christmas because luke has 24 chapters so this is 17th day in the Luke series. So I'm reading Luke chapter 17. So once I read that chapter, Holy Spirit was like off the bat. You don't have to make this one long. Um, you don't have to try to go into too much details. It's simple. The word for today is within. Okay. If you had an opportunity to look at my previous episodes, you would know that during this Luke series, we've just been talking about a whole bunch of, you know, with the Pharisees and the the leaders of the the teachers of the law and you know we're talking about betrayal we're talking about dishonesty you know we're just talking about a whole bunch of different things that have come up in these various chapters beware prepare warnings just everything that is just out there for you to know but what holy spirit wanted me to share with you today is that he is within okay that one particular chapter um, scripture that he wanted me to bring to your attention actually comes from Luke chapter 17 and it is verse 20 to 21. Okay. And it says, one day the Pharisees asked Jesus, when will the kingdom of God begin? And Jesus replies, the kingdom of God isn't ushered in with visible signs. You won't be able to say it has begun here in this place or there in that part of the country for the kingdom of God is within you. Okay. That's what he wanted me to make sure that you know today that the kingdom of God is within you. Let me go ahead and read another scripture because like I said today, I'm just hitting you with the word of God point straight to the point so you can know exactly where God, Holy Spirit, and Jesus is coming from. No one has ever seen God. I have an episode about the unseen. Check that out. Scripture is saying no one has ever seen God. But if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. We know that we live in him and he in us because he has given us the spirit. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in him. So with love, God is within us. The kingdom of God is within us. And how do you get the kingdom of God? How do you know where the kingdom of God being within you? How do you know it's within? Via love because God is love. Um, how do you treat people? Are you loving? Are you friendly? Are you kind? Are you passionate? Or are you doing the other things that I've been talking about in these previous episodes? You know, are you being unfair? Are you unscrupulous? Are you betraying people? Are you, you know, doing things that you're not supposed to do? Okay. Um, I want to go over some scripture again that shows you that God is within. And the key for being with God is love. Uh, anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. That's 1 John 4, 8. Okay? Faith comes by hearing 
and hearing through the word of Christ. That's Romans 10, 17. Okay? John 3, 3, it says, Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I said to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Born again, meaning that you're going to get rid of your old ways and you're going to incorporate the word of God into your life. Okay? 1 John 5, 13 says, I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God that you may know that you have eternal life. Yes, we talked about giving you a warning so that you could know that if you don't do what it is that you're going to do, you will eventually um, not have eternal life, but you will definitely perish and you don't want to perish. Okay, um, it says that the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick. Who can understand it? God looks at the heart. So you've got to be, be careful of what you're putting in, what you're hearing, what you're doing, how you're acting, how you're behaving. So if you want to know how the kingdom of God operates, and if you have the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God is within you. It's how you move. You have to make that conscious decision. God is not just going to thrust himself on you. You know, you basically have to knock on the door and then allow God to come in. I said, God, I want you to be my Lord and Savior. Forgive me, you know, for my past. And then you will be a new creation and your old thing has passed. And then you will be able to live in that new life of doing the work of God. So my golden nugget for you today is be the person that God has created you to be. Do not confirm to the world. Allow God to come in and be part of your life because he is spirit. He would very much want to be a part of your life, but he's not going to thrust himself. He's not going to throw himself on you. You have to make that conscious decision to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and then have the Holy Spirit to be your guide. Are you hungry? I know that I am. Let's be fed daily bread.